So this is quite a special year for everybody. I think we're all hoping that 2021 will be better than 2020. And what better way to start it off than thinking about what delectable foals you're going to breed for the following year. So we're very happy to introduce you to our virtual catalogue and virtual show of Woodlander Stallions. I just want to say a little bit about our philosophy. All our stallions have great mother lines. That means mother lines with serious performance up to um, Grand Prix level. And I think maybe in the case of one or the other, it's been international small tour. But none of our stallions are just bred out of a mare that has nothing to say in her life. They're all raised at home. Um, some of them have been born from our mares in Germany. Most have been raised at home. And we look forward to taking them forward. And I think what's really important is that you know that we market our stallions by competing with them in the sport. Um, and when you come to breed with us and you come to sell your foal, there's always a great story to tell. So enjoy the boys. It's been quite a challenge getting the material together. I think we've done some very serious freezing in places, but great support from everyone. And we look forward to breeding with you in 2021. He's seven this year. He has been always an enigma. As a two-year-old, I know the story goes, and it is true, that I nearly sold him to somebody for £6,000 because he was not a beauty and was the least attractive two-year-old in the field. And some lady came who only had 6000 and I said, well, I've got one two-year-old in the field that maybe would work for you. And when he when he came up from the field and took one step into the arena, I said to her, and I'm sure she thought I was lying, listen, if you don't buy this horse, I'm going to send him for stallion licensing. But he just always showed the most incredible, powerful gates, even though he wasn't the prettiest or the most modern. Uh, he was always a handsome horse with I thought a lot of potential. So he's by the stallion Don Frederick, and Don Frederick is a Don Frederico Weltmeier. Holger Finken rode him, and I think he's now PSG or into one. And like Double Bubble, as a very powerful stallion. And then on the bottom line, it's a bloodline that I love, which is the Dutch stallion Russo. So the mother of Double Bubble is a Fervant Premium Mare, Real Perfect, Russo Alabaster Weltmeier. So Bubble is seriously ginger and is inbred to Weltmeier on both sides and I think benefits from this mix of real talent from Don Frederico was a spectacular horse. Not very correct, but in his front legs, but a horse that went to a high level with the state stud riders. And again, Alabaster, I think when Bubble did his performance test in Germany, everybody said, oh, we can see Alabaster. We are super happy with this horse. He's now with Luis Principe, who's obviously a very experienced Grand Prix rider. And Luis has had him now for the last 18 months. And we're going to carry on this year with competition and training. So this year he'll be available to breeders with frozen semen. 
So let's enjoy looking at it. This is Scram Designs from a very special family. He's by the stallion Grand Galaxy Win, uh, who's a Dutch stallion of some import. But importantly, as with all Woodlander stallions, it's the mother line. Well, what can we say about this mother line? Some years ago, I bought a mare called Savannah, who was a state premium mare by Sao Paulo. And she has produced just a really fantastic dynasty of sport horses for largely dressage, but also for eventing. And Savannah herself was in the Hanoverian jumping program. And so unsurprisingly, her descendants show a real ability to get off the ground. And I think Grand Designs would fall into a similar sort of category. So basically bred for dressage. The pedigree on the mother's side goes back through the fabulous, almost legendary Florencio mare, elite foxy lady, who was out of Savannah. And elite foxy lady has bred two internationally approved stallions. The first one being Woodstock, now called Wedgwood, and bought in the Oldenburg licensing by Jan Greve, the former Dutch team vet. And last year, in 2020, he was the champion of the five-year-old eventers in Sweden. And this is his half-brother. They're beautiful, they're sweet, nice people. They're very correct in their limbs. And yeah, they take a bit of time to develop. You can't just, you know, drive them around like a Bugatti in the first 12 months of their lives. And certainly for Grand Designs, he's had a very good start. He had wonderful foals last year. I think he had some premium foals. And yeah, we're really happy with him.
So you're privileged to see the first riding loose of Bernalillo. I mean, what an incredible three-year-old. He's literally been lunged. And I say this every year, and every year I get a bit of grief about it, but you can see Carsten's almost riding in a half seat in the canter, and the horse is free and not held in anywhere, and he obviously finds the canter quite easy. So quite a treat with this young horse. By Bernay, who very sadly died last year, and was much missed, had started to have several good crops of stallion children, and out of a London time Weltmeyer Western Star mare, um, this was the mother line of the stallion Wengstern, who was, I think, really a very good horse, but with particularly good rideability. And I think we're very happy to have this very elastic development on that very traditional breeding. So this is obviously baby steps, so we'll just make a transition now to walk. I think when you have a horse of this age, really, he needs to walk on a little bit more, but I think he just needs to understand carrying the rider. And of course, it's harder for them to carry the rider in the walk than it is in the trot or the canter. And for this horse, the canter's for sure the easiest. And can you go literally on a long rein, Carsten, on the buckle? He likes to have a good look at everything. But I think with the other horses screaming from the car park, he's done quite well. Good boy. What a good boy. Franz Ferdinand, what a very special horse, with a world champion father, a Grand Prix mother, a world champion mother, father, and a double world champion for the sister. You can't have much more provenance at every level. He's beautiful, his gates are wonderful, his rideability is incredible, his limbs are correct, and he's a real class package for breeding. And the icing on the cake for this year is that he is now able to give Oldenburg pink papers for his offspring as Oldenburg have agreed to take him into Hengst Book 2, having not completed his performance uh, requirements due to a collateral ligament uh, injury. So we are delighted with this horse. He's had multiple elite offspring. He's been the competition stallion, stallion of the year, and I think he is an absolutely unmissable uh, package to add quality and scope to any mare. Enjoy him.
So this is a package of world champions. This is Sequoia. He's by a son of the triple world champion set one by a stallion called Secret. And he's out of a Trikana mare line, a really good mare line for dressage and eventing. And his mother is by Imperio, who was twice reserve champion for the world championships for five and six year olds. So this is a pedigree for outstanding movement. Young horse classes, you always have to have good movement and also great rideability to be able to do these things in front of big crowds at five and six. It's quite a sensitive horse. He's very big, as you can see. So we would not plan to ride him too early, although we will have to get a leg across him before he goes to stud. But this is a fantastic mother line. I say that about all of them really, but actually from this line, from Woodlander breeding, we have Woodlander Donna Summer, who is very closely bred to this horse and is, of course, a Grand Prix horse with Katrina Cantrell. <laughs>